With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question here says which of the following statements are incorrect. So first statement is that the longest phase of menstrual cycle is the follicular phase while the shortest phase is ovulatory phase. So if we talk about the phases of the menstrual cycle, the day 1 to day 5 is the day of menstruation followed by which day 16 to 13 is the follicular phase or proliferative phase where the follicle develops at a very fast rate and the proliferation of endometrium takes place again. Day 14 is a single day that is on the mid cycle in which the ovulation occurs. So this is called as an ovulatory phase. Whereas after this, there is formation of a corpus luteum from the remains of the graphene follicle. This starts from day 15th till 28th. Now, this is supposed to be the longest phase. That is luteal phase, which is also called as secretory phase. So, no doubt about it that the ovulatory phase is the shortest, but the follicular phase is certainly not the longest. It is a luteal or the secretory phase. So this makes this statement as the false statement. The second one is when blastulation occurs, the uterus is in luteal phase with well-developed endometrium. Remember blastulation is formation of blastula and blastula is formed after the zygote undergoes division. right? And first it is going to go undergo division into, so zygote will form first morula that is 8 to 16 cell stage which will further increase in size and number and then it is going to differentiate into two layers that is trophoblast and the inner cell mass. So when the inner cell mass and the trophoblast is formed this is the stage when it is called as blastula right. So here we see when blastula is formed it is after fertilization so luteal phase will not be there because during pregnancy that means pregnancy is now going to take place. During pregnancy, the menstrual cycle does not take place. So there is no point of talking about luteal phase here. No doubt the endometrium will be well developed here, but the uterus is in luteal phase. This statement is a wrong statement. Now talking about the third statement, formation of haploid secondary polar body occurs just before ovulation. So it occurs First of all, the first polar body occurs just at the time of ovulation and the second polar body is formed just after fertilization. So it does not occur before ovulation, right? So this is wrong. Then this fourth option is permanent cessation of menses is an indicator of pregnancy. That means when the menses completely stop altogether, this stage is called as menopause, whereas pregnancy is a temporary cessation of menses. So here we see that the, all the four statements are wrong. So we can mark this as a right answer for this question. That is option number one can be marked as a correct answer. Whereas the other options which are given here are the wrong ones. So this is all about this query. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.